I always like to keep abreast of the uh, current economic news and the data coming out. And uh, I, I live in Las Vegas, and I also see that the the housing sales have slowed down pretty good in Las Vegas. They're cooling down. Uh, I've made many videos on the subject where in the last five years, the prices of houses in Vegas have doubled, really, since the collapse in 2009. And then I think the prices somewhere around 2010, they might have bottomed. But in that five-year period since 2010, house prices in Las Vegas doubled. Well, you know that can't go on forever. And that's what we're starting to see here. I'm going to be talking about uh, home sales are starting to cool off a little bit. And the, the trend is downward. And we have seen back-to-back uh, -back declines in pending home sales. We have seen back-to-back -back month declines. So that's what we're going to be going into today. Uh, why is this happening? And now it's all, all over the country. When you see that the pending home sales down 2.3%, that's in the country. That's not just... Las Vegas. Las Vegas uh, sales may be down bigger than that, but uh, that 2.3 decline for September, that's all through the country. So we're having a cooling down period. And let's go into why I feel that's happening. Well, to me, it's pretty clear. It all has to do with the Federal Reserve System. I don't think, and that's why I always harp on this, I always preach on this, I don't think Americans understand how much power the Federal Reserve has over our life, the money in our wallet, our houses, the price of your food. The Federal Reserve has extremely too much power. They have enough power to collapse the economy, and they have enough power to actually put heroin into the economy, actually give it, give us booster shots, which they've been doing for the last six years. They've been giving us some extremely big booster shots, and we don't seem to be going anywhere. So even though I say the Federal Reserve has lots and lots of power, at the same time, I believe they're losing power. At the same time, I believe they're losing control, and that has a lot of people worried because there's a lot of people out there who their whole business, their corporations, all depend on the Federal Reserve System. And if that system collapses, well, you're going to see corporations and companies drop like flies. But let's get back into the, the new home sales. Let's go to the new home sales. Now, the experts out there, they were expecting... Uh, when the, the new home sales reports came out this month, they were expecting about 549,000 new home sales. That was what they uh, they were looking for. That's what they expected. Again, 549,000. But what really happened when the uh, results came in this month is the number was way, way below expectations. The number was 400. And 68,000. Now that's way, way below expectations. And you know, that can even be revised down farther next month. Sometimes these, these, uh, these numbers are not always totally accurate and they always get revised lower, meaning there's a little bit of manipulation in the numbers. So that tells you something that the home sales are cooling off because if they were expecting 550,000 sales, but they only got 468,000. Well, that's really disappointing. And that's what this, uh, this is basically a month monthly uh, update on the housing. And this had to happen. Like I say, talking from Las Vegas experience, housing, houses just went up too quick for the last five years. They doubled in price. So sooner or later, it had to cool off. But more importantly, it also has to do with uh, QE, QE3. QE3 was about a year ago. Remember what QE, quantitative easing. Remember when the housing collapse happened back in 08, 09, the Federal Reserve answer to that housing collapse was to 
go ahead and do quantitative easing 1, QE2, quantitative easing 3, and they stopped about a year ago. So that's why we're having a cooling off period, and that's why I say the Federal Reserve System has so much power over our lives. Not only the price of your home, the price of the groceries, they really believe that they're in complete control of inflation or deflation. The hubris, the hubris of these people who they basically live in marble castles back in Washington, D.C., live in these marble castles and they and they think they can control every single bit of our lives through a Federal Reserve note. The hubris is is just comical and they, and they have been doing it. They have actually been getting away with it for now close to a hundred years they've been getting away with it. That's why I say the the internet revolution is so important because now you've got a whole new generation of people who are starting to wake up and they say hey what the Federal Reserve System is doing is not fair. And people are speaking out. Like, I'm speaking out. There's people listening. And everybody starts to spread the word. And before you know it, the Federal Reserve System will be eliminated. The Federal Reserve System will be canceled out. And there'll be a more fair system come in there. Because for them to be able to push a button over in Washington, D.C., push a button and create... 20 billion uh, fake Federal Reserve notes and hand it off to their friends. And then they expect that their friends, somehow that'll trickle down to us poor people. That system's not working anymore. Because what happens, their friends are taking that money and they're going overseas with it. They're taking that money, going to China, Mumbai, India, Singapore, Macau. They're going to, they're going to Asia with that money. And it's actually our money. It's supposed The dollar is supposed to be our money. But the Federal Reserve hands it off to their friends, and their friends are investing in Asia. Believe you me, this system is broke. And it has to be fixed. Unfortunately, it looks like there may have to be a total collapse before the elite figure out that the system is broke.